Hey everybody, it's Ken Rose here from Optical Systems. I'm the New York State reseller of Mastercam. Today I met one of my customers, Elite Archery. They manufacture some of the finest compound bows known to man. Today we're going to have Victor Bernardi take us through the whole manufacturing process and how they utilize Mastercam to make their bows. Maybe if I get lucky, I might be able to get something that looks really neat. We'll see. Victor, thanks a lot for having us in here to watch the manufacturing process. I also want to thank your company, all the outdoor group, for the shows, the process going through the whole ball manufacturing. You're welcome, Vince. Uh, Mastercam is a very integral part of what we do here, and uh, it's an invaluable, indispensable uh, tool in, in what we're trying to do. And uh, uh, you know, I've had the pleasure of using Mastercam for a lot of years, and it's been a great tool in my arsenal. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going down on the floor and watching the whole process of what's getting made in the different Mastercam modules that you use. And I haven't seen it before. I would really like to see it. i tell you what I would like to see is I would like to see us create something called like the Mastercam bow. Sure, with we can. Colors. Sure, we can definitely put in a custom uh, bow order for you guys. And, That's uh, right, you do a custom. All you need to do is pretty much uh, pick your model and we'll uh, we'll get you fitted. And then uh, for uh, Mastercam, we can uh, we can uh, pick the colors that you would like to see the bow look like. If you well, want. there's a whole fitting process that goes along with this too. Yep. So each we 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 build bows uh, for the individual user and uh, set up to your specifications and uh, for draw length, weight, um, all body types. We can we can fit all body types and. Uh, and we have a pretty wide palette for, of colors and uh, styles for target shooters to hunters. I'm sure we can whip up something special for Master Maker. And so it's truly custom that from, from start to finish. Absolutely. It's, it's unique. Absolutely. And that, that's great. Because this is the one we're going to build. What, what model is this one? So this is one of our flagship um, 2023 bows. It's a very good selling bow and uh, highly regarded. We can pretty much accommodate most most any color for this project so it's pretty much what uh, your imagination yeah. that's great and these are the cams for it too right the main main components here my limbs and such well being a master cam guy i guess the colors are going to be pretty easy it's going to be black red and white so i can imagine this whole this whole riser being a, a nice good red you know i mean nice solid red here the rest in here it could be black the limbs will be black i would like the cams to be white that would, that would really set things off. And, and on the limbs, would it be possible to like get the, the Mastercam logo, like like this logo, like put right on the limbs or, or somewhere else on, on the riser too? We definitely could do that. What we'll do is uh, in the next couple of days, we'll get our uh, graphics team to get something together and, uh, okay. and get you a couple of samples and see what you, what you like. All right, machine's all done running. Let's check out, see what we got. Wow. This is a whole lot lighter than the original casting already, and it's only not even halfway done yet. And I can see all your your dynamic tool paths that you uh, used along here, and your threading and hold. And... There's so much that's involved in this. Uh, you have uh, uh, silhouette boundaries, avoidance features, you have servicing going on here, you have OptiRust, you have dynamic tool paths, um, your basic contour paths from the old days. Um, Rigid tapping, so we run the variety of almost every aspect of uh, 3D milling right. in, in, in Mastercam. And, and the usability of it is, and being able to uh, to watch it in our, our, our regen and our, in our tool path, right. our, uh, the simulation, the simulation right. is yeah. just absolutely uh, vital to uh, making sure that we're not wasting time and removing the uh, material efficiently, uh, utilizing the tool for the best of its application. Fantastic. This is great. I can't wait to see when the other side does see what we got. From there we go right on to the next topic. Excellent, man. Let's go do it. All right, so here we are. We're all set up for the second op. Uh, anything different on this op compared to, to the first op when we first roughed it out, or is it just pretty much Doing well, the same thing. Well, so the material, you ask, so the material condition is obviously changed. And uh, without getting too strong, the script the secondary and tertiary operations, there's, 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 now there's a different material condition we have to deal with. So we obviously have different texturing. So we can model that after the first operation with the remaining stock 
uh, utilizing our simulation feature, yeah. but we can utilize the stock model uh, operations on Metrogram from our from our remainder of our of our first operation to model our secondary fixture system and uh, and, and therefore appropriately and efficiently remove material from the from the formation. Right. So you're using the stock model feature. You're right. The tool pads and the tool pads are then trimmed to the remaining stock that there's no wasted air time or anything. It gets right into the material. Absolutely. Then you know, got the money and uh, any little bit of wasted stock or wasted air you can eliminate from your program is very key to making a quality product in a reasonable amount of time. All right. Let's light it up. Maybe four pounds. And look at this. Look at all the pockets, all the holes and threads are in there. All looks nice already. But I know there's a lot more to go on this, right? Before Absolutely. it's finished, right? Every aspect of this ball is what you see right now. That's fantastic. I love it. That is looking good. Bows are made of multiple different components uh, over a wide variety of machines, and uh, one of the great uh, features of Mastercam is the ability to, to incorporate Mastercam software on a variety of different machines from horizontals to robo drills to Haas, um, Mori Sikis and uh, Nakamura's, we have them all here. And each one of those machines is, is uh, um, tasked with making a component to the bow um, so that at the end process we can assemble a complete bow in-house from all the parts we made in-house. We utilize Mastercam uh, to uh, identify what our, what, our, what our limits are, our limitations are, and uh, to apply the tools for this operation as well. This machine has a different performance envelope, so right. we're allowed to do a different uh, different work with this machine due to the RPM and the surface footage we can cut. Right, I know that we're gonna make one of those cams starting out of one of these things, and it's gonna be a tiny little thing when we're finished with it. I can't wait to see that. Absolutely. And walking down this aisle of machines, I can see there's a whole bunch of different components being made, like how many different components go into like an average ball, I don't know, some might have more or less, but what's the number of balls? About 12 to 13 components to build a ball, uh, roughly speaking. Yeah, I walked by and I noticed uh, this part that's got all the engraving on it with different numbers and such, and what is, where does this go? Well, this, this is the component that marries to this cam, and uh, it allows for adjustability so that uh, we can accommodate any size shooter. And uh, again, these are all models so that we can pretty much fit these together and make sure that when these are finished and, uh, and, and, and done for our spec, they all assemble without any problems at all. And how's Mastercam involved in this process? So Mastercam is, uh, is, is uh, involved with the uh, individual components uh, based on the original CAD and our original models for uh, how the parts are supposed to go together. Uh, here, we got it. Side one gun, just like before. You can see the marks from the dynamic milling where it was officially recognizing the stock that you had to find, going in and pocketing everything. And again, we've got our, our threaded holes in here all done very quickly and accurately. It looks really nice right now. I can't wait to see what could be left. Remember, with this thing, you know, this, this is what we started out with, and we're here now. So let's see what we get at the finish part. Look at this. I mean, this is an insane, I don't even know what this thing weighs, like maybe two ounces or something compared to this a couple pounds easy. It's like all that material gone very rapidly to cam for this thing. But what are you doing? Yep, and what you described before with the uh, tool pads, we also incorporated engraving into this. And uh, we modeled custom tooling for some of the pieces that we require out there. And then tool modeling, we were able to import the tool modeling from our, from our tool vendor to our spec. And we were able to incorporate that in our tool mix so we can utilize the model of property in our, our program so that the part comes out right the first time. Very nice. So these have to go on to a further finishing process and maybe powder coat, you'll get polished up and such. 
what you have to yeah. end, right? Absolutely. Well, this is great. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to a ball, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's find out. There's a lot of different machines and process that you would expect to be made, you know, on a machine shop to make a bow, but even there's some parts that you would never expect to make on a bow. So we run the, the whole spectrum here. We, use, we utilize master cam in uh, 2D lathes, mill turn capacity, we utilize it in mills, horizontals, uh, and we also utilize it in 2D and EDF. Wire. Uh, wire EDF too, so uh, we make every component of the bow for the most part, even down to the name plaque that goes on the bow. And uh, this just shows you some of uh, the capabilities we have with some of the different size stocks we, uh, we machine out of the um, yeah, very nice, accurate, they look at trigger parts. Or, yeah, yeah. Trigger components. very sharp. Corners. These are multiple plates that are stacked together and we are able to make component parts in, in quadruples and uh, in, in, in mass quantities to accommodate production. are one of my favorite things the multicasting machine. Especially Nakamura's man, they're just they're just top of the line when it comes to that. So what are we making here? So this is a, I, this is an uh, cap for one of our stabilizers and uh, they come in different lengths and uh, it pretty much allows your offset weight from the center of the bow to you know, to tailor it to the shooter's experience. Right. And uh, this machine is currently set up with a bar feeder utilizing master cam mill turn and uh, we're making this part complete. It's got a uh, thread uh, flat features, ID boards, and it's being done in one out of three minutes every three minutes of parking lot. And then it just goes right off the finish. Yep. That's it.
kitted all the components, everything's been through powder coat, now it's time for assembly. We're gonna let one of our uh, assemblers put this mess of Cambo together. Awesome. So now the major components of the bow are assembled, it's been tuned. Now we gotta go get Vince, uh, put some sights and uh, a rest on it and uh, get it set up for his drawing. How's it feel shooting that thing? It feels smooth. I mean, there's like no vibration or anything in it. And you know, it's like the second time I've shot it. And it's pretty good. So we got to increase the draw length on it. But I guess I'm a big drink of water, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Here it is, guys, the ultimate collaboration between Mastercam and Outdoor Sports. We'd love to thank the Outdoor Group, and be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.